everybody. It's your old pal, Brian Hunt. Welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds of Risk. Today, I have the distinct pleasure of having a good friend of mine, Jimmy Guntouris. Uh, Jimmy and I actually worked together at Austin Industries. Didn't know him at the time, but I knew him later in life. Yeah. And as I kind of played and worked in the construction world, and especially insurance risk management, I learned about this concept of you know lean construction. And when I first heard about it, I didn't quite know what it meant. Actually, my perception was wrong. And it's really a very dynamic tool that I really wanted Jimmy to come on the show and talk about. Jimmy's probably one of the most learned individuals I know respects to implementing lean construction at a firm. So, Jimmy, take it away. Thanks, Brian. When I first was introduced to lean, it was about 15 years ago, back at Austin. Okay. Uh, it is, at that point, it was pretty much a process-driven method. tool, method, okay. method. Uh, to help create value, eliminate waste, mm -hmm. uh, create better flow on a project, and create, uh, I think I already said, better value, saving time, saving money, yeah. saving everything. And as I kind of, yeah, now learn more about it, especially from the concept, like, I think it's the push-pull, correct me if I'm wrong, you think about the project, day one, this is finished, and I gotta walk it back to all the things that might happen to try to understand what things could go wrong as far as supply chain disruption, which really is integral into risk management to try to understand, try to perceive what could go wrong before it actually happens, and therefore you can try to plan accordingly. Is that a good way to put that? Correct, what, what, what you do, I mean, you get the, the entire buy-in and you get the collaboration of all your different trade partners to experts in the field, yeah. uh, which helps you create the better schedule, the better process, the better plan Correct. to accommodate any of those changes that come into place. Yeah, because like for risk management, people just think it's insurance, but no, it's risk management is more holistic in nature. And that's why I think lean is a great tie-in to enterprise risk management, health and safety, to think holistically about uh, risk. A lot of the tools in Last Planner, when implemented properly, will eliminate a ton of risk on a project. Wow. Uh, just even the Last Planner system, the, the team getting together every day, talking about what they got, what, what, where they're working at, what the safety issues are coming up. Uh, looking out ahead, planning further ahead, mm -hmm. they could be better prepared for what's coming up as far as having the right tools on site, having the right manpower, having the right equipment to work safely. Yeah. And, and not only that, you better plan your logistics and your site because that all figures into the safety of the job as well. Oh, absolutely. And obviously, in this line of work, we're all been concerned about supply disruptions, not having enough capacity. And so I think lean construction is probably more critical these days than ever. It, it, it is, uh, but even in today's world, it seems like all the planning you do doesn't help sometimes. <laughs> but um, the concept you plan for, at least think about it, therefore, re, and, you know, at least you're uh, agile, a more agile thinking about correct. it. Correct. Kind of yeah, because yeah. if, especially if you know the problem's coming up, you can come up with ways as a team to get around it. Correct. Uh, it's like Eisenhower used to old say, the old adage is planning is nothing. The plan is worthless once the action occurs, but it's the fact you've been trained is what people know what to do. Correct. Right. Correct. So if someone wanted to learn, know more about lean construction, Jimmy, where would you point them and what kind of resources are available? Oh, definitely. LCI, okay. uh, Lean Construction Institute website, has got a wealth of knowledge on it. Uh, all, all different types of training, videos, the whole nine yards. Okay. Uh, we, ha we have our own videos out there on YouTube for yeah. uh, Last Planner System, okay. which is what we heavily use on our projects. Yeah. Uh, Dallas Fort Worth has got our own community of practice okay. through a lot of events to where you can go there and learn just from all different individuals in the industry. Yeah. Different companies, trade partners, different GCs. We all work together and we all share that information and make the industry better itself. And did I say you're presenting at an L LCI conference coming up? Is that correct? Or did I see that on yeah, LinkedIn? Yeah, there's a rumor of that. <laughs> uh, I, I've been fortunate enough in my career to. to been part of companies that are involved in lean. Mm -hmm. um, and the first one, it was kind of forced upon us by okay. the owner. Yeah. But being in a hospital, mm. at that time, it was, wasn't heard of and it yeah. really added a new new aspect to how we planned a job to work in the hospital. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of what we're gonna be talking about, the different rollouts, uh, how what went well, what didn't go well. Okay. Uh, you know, as, as the industry has grown and the tools have been developed, people are starting to realize, I mean, it, it should have been realized a long time ago. It's still a respect and still based on relationships, Absolutely. the industry. Amen. And the better we can work towards getting better respect in the industry for our, all of our people yeah. and develop those relationships, the better off the entire project is. Fantastic. And so when and where is the conference? 
You remember? End of September. It's virtual online. Virtual online. Okay, virtual very good. Virtual online. It's like the last, third week of September. All right. So I hope you guys can get, get Tammy. You'll be able to go on and research and look at that. Jimmy, once again, thanks for your time and expertise. It's so welcome. Hope you enjoyed this episode like all the other ones. If you'd like to be on that or a certain topic you wanted me to cover, please post a note here on LinkedIn. You can also find these videos on YouTube and also the, the links to these tubes on Twitter. Until next time. Bye, everybody. See you.